Hey, this is Ernesto, and let's review Quantum from Waves Factory. I always told transient shapers as a correcting tool, simply removing too much sustain or bumping up transients to cut through a mix. But Quantum's a different kind of transient plugin. By separating the audio signal into its attack and sustain parts, then giving us 16 effects to apply to each part independently, Quantum is offering us a new way to get creative. Quantum is both a mixing and sound design tool. Um, it's pretty amazing, so let me show you how it works. I saw an example similar to this on another video, so I wanted to recreate it here for all of you watching. Um, so we start off with this kind of boring snare. Super dry. All right, cool. So what we see here in Quantum is that we see this waveform going across. We see a little red line and a blue line. The red represents the attack, while the blue line represents the sustain. What's really nice is that you can solo both signals, but we'll solo the attack for now. Great. And then what we can do is uh, add on all these effects. So we got chorus, compressor, convolution, delay, and so on. I already have some effects on the attack. Um, I'll activate them so you kind of hear how it's transforming. So enhancer, I'll activate that. So what that's doing is kind of like an EQ shelf mixed with drive, really similar to Wave Factory Spectre um, plugin. And they have a convolution reverb I'm going to add on. Great. And what's nice with the convolution reverb is that you have a bunch of different uh, samples you can load up here. You can also upload your own um, convolution samples as well. And then I'll add a compressor at the end to help really beef up that compress or that reverb sound there. Keep in mind, that is just the attack of that snare. So let's move on to the sustain. I will solo that. And let's activate these effects here. So convolution, once again, I didn't in a course because I want it to be weird. Can't hear too much. And then compressor. There we go. Now we can really hear it. Let's drop this threshold. Cool. That's sounding much better. So let's hear uh, attack and sustain together. That's wild. Okay, now bypass it. Put it back in. Yep. Now I hope you're impressed by that. This is certainly not Quantum's only use, but this is pretty much how this plugin works. And if the snare demo isn't enough, I'll show off some more examples in a second. So after messing around with Quantum, I realized something that probably should have been more obvious, and that's Quantum works best on sound that has a strong transient. Now maybe I'm using this wrong, but I noticed that Quantum doesn't do too well with sounds and loops that have a soft or weak transient. So a pad, for instance, um, let me play this for you here. So it's like showing up in Quantum, but if I sell the attack, you're seeing these little blips. It's because this pad doesn't have transients. So it's the same. It's just kind of like the whole thing. <laughs> so please be mindful of that. So things like pads, there are even some bass loops, anything with a soft or weak transient probably will not pair well with Quantum. And I don't think that's a deal breaker. I just think it's something to have a heads up on. This is a transient designer, so it makes sense for Quantum to really pair well with sounds with a strong transient. So with that said, Quantum works wonders on percussion. And I love putting this thing on ARPS. You can also get some great results on guitar. And after knowing what Quantum likes to be paired with, you'll find yourself getting more interesting results. And hey, if you're finding this review really helpful, please consider liking this video. By liking it, it just helps me know that I'm doing a good job for you out there. Now I wanted to show off another feature or insight behind this plugin, but I felt it was best to talk about who I think this plugin is for. In short, it's not for everyone, and I'm really glad that Waves Factory doesn't market it that way. In fact, I think this plugin is best for intermediate or advanced producers and mixers, and I would even lean more towards the advanced side. Although Quantum is easy to use, it's not so easy to know when to use it or what to use it for. So if you're more of a beginner, wait till you get a firm grasp on the more fundamental tools like compression, EQ, saturation, and even transient shapers. Now that I said all that, let's talk about the price and where to get it. At full price, Quantum is 149 US dollars. You can also try a demo out for free. There's a link down below for that. And if you're thinking you're to pick up this plugin, then please consider clicking my affiliate link down below. The commission I get from these purchases just really helps sustain this channel. So here's my final thoughts on Quantum. 
I don't say this often, but I think Quantum is really a unique plugin. It's asking you to do something that you probably never considered before, and that's designing transients and sustains. And because of that, I think we've all barely scratched the surface of what you can do with Quantum. So is this a good plugin? Yes. Is it a creative tool that it claims to be? Yeah, I think so. Although I think the jury is still out on whether Quantum is one of those essential or got to have plugins. All right, thank you so much for watching. Please consider liking this video so other music makers can find it. Later.